Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how we can convert a color grading LUT to be usable inside of OBS. So we're going to take a .cube file and turn that into a PNG, which is the format that OBS can read for LUTs, and I'll show you how to set all of that up. So currently I have a LUT, a very simple one created in DaVinci Resolve for this little clip of my webcam here. You can see when I enable it, it makes the colors a little bit more on the red side. Um, and so assuming I want that, I can right click on my clip, go down to generate 3D LUT cube and export that. So I'm just exporting that so that we have a cube file to use in our video, but you can get it from any video editor really. So I'm going to be uh, saving this as webcam OBS LUT. Uh, I'll give it number two and I will save that. The dot cube will be automatically added as an extension. So I will go ahead and save that on my desktop. So what we need to do with this file is apply it on top of a neutral LUT file. So I'll have a link to this file in the description. You can also find one you can use for OBS simply by Googling uh, neutral LUT OBS and you should be able to find it. So with this file opened up inside of Adobe Photoshop, I'm going to have to add a new adjustment layer in. So you can see that the neutral LUT is the background layer. So now I have to go up to the layer menu, go down to adjustment layer and choose color lookup. So I'm going to call this layer LUT and it'll pop up this property window in the side where you'll see 3D LUT file load 3D LUT. You click on that and then you click on load 3D LUT again. You find the .cube file or whichever format you happen to be using. You can see the uh, different viable formats here. Um, you select that, you open that up, and then that will be added to that adjustment layer. So when you have that LUT loaded, you should see a change in how the neutral LUT looks. So this is with the LUT added on top of it, and this is how the neutral looks, and with it added on top. So you should be able to notice a really obvious difference there. So assuming that's the case, make sure both of your layers are visible, and now go to the File menu, choose Export, Quick Export as PNG, and save it on your desktop with whatever name you want. So I'll call this Webcam OBS LUT number two, and make sure it's saved as a PNG. So now we can go into OBS. So I'll pop open this copy of OBS I'm recording with right now. And you generally would apply this over a video capture device. So with my webcam right here, I'm going to right click and go to filters. So under filters, there's an effect filter called apply LUT. You can add that by right clicking and doing add apply LUT. I already have it there. So I'm going to select the path of the LUT we want to apply. When you hit browse, there's a default location for LUTs for OBS. You can drag that into the folder if you want, or you can just locate it on your desktop, your documents, wherever you're saving your files. So I'm going to add in webcam OBS LUT right here, double click it. And once I re-enable the effect of filter right now, because it's currently invisible, you should see a difference. So this is how it looks with the LUT added on and how it looks without it, added on, without it, added on, without it. Um, arguably, I think it might look better without it at the moment. So that one needs some work, but that's the general idea of how you can take a LUT file saved as .cube format or whichever format you happen to be working with, convert it to a PNG and then load it into OBS so that you can have it apply while you're actually recording inside of OBS. So I've been Chris, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I will see you guys in my future video content.